Good evening, and thank you for stepping into the Fire Playland. As always, I'm your Fire Player. I wanted to make this video about the uh, Mets and their uh, prospective sale to Steve Cohen, um, Maverick investor. Uh, rumor has it that, well, it's a two part rumor that the Steve Cohen bid for the Mets has been approved in mass by the other owners in the league. Um, and this is a behind the scenes rumor um, that was sent to me uh, earlier today. But um, the, so he has a, enough uh, votes. I think he needed 23 of 29 owners to uh, approve of this sale from the Will Ponds to Steve Cohen. And that's already uh, been done behind the scenes. Um, like there's more uh, eyes than nays. But um, another uh, story that came out in the New York Post today is that Bill de Blasio, um, our more mayor, mayor of New York, is uh, looking, is, is uh, being, was cagey in his response as to whether he would approve of the sale of the Mets. Now, that's not even a rumor. That's actually uh, factual. Uh, I actually looked at the uh, article and read the statement verbatim and he said something along the lines of that they have to look into it now and that he has his team looking into it because the land that the Mets uh, or City Field which is the stadium of the New York Mets is on is owned by the city and that it was going to have to happen no matter what the reason that this is concerning, though, is because, like I said earlier, uh, de Blasio is an idiot. Um, there was somebody within the de Blasio camp who apparently was um, giving information to the New York Post about the sale of the Mets. And that person, um, that source, stated that it was just a formality and that uh, de Blasio had uh, somewhat already approved of the sale or already uh, gave his approval and that uh, once the other owners of the league had agreed to sell the New York Mets to Steve Cohen that he would then in turn uh, immediately approve of that sale now come Monday or last night or yesterday in a press conference, apparently he says this uh, statement being more cagey about his approval of selling the Mets. So we already got approved by the ownership group and now something that was uh, looking, looking like a formality from de Blasio or something that it looked like it was going to be a... Um, a um, a quick decision by de Blasio according to the source from within the de Blasio camp is now going to be uh, held up by de Blasio the source from within his camp uh, the same source that gave the information that said that de Blasio was going to prove said that de Blasio had a change of heart and that he just wanted to stick his nose in just to stick his nose in pretty much um, they said that de Blasio which I found to be true, like, um, um, just wants that chance to put his name behind a story because all the press that he gets here in New York is, is negative. Now, uh, I mean, coming from me, you may look at that with a grain of salt because I happen to not be a Democrat. I'm not a Republican either, but, um, I also uh, can't stand de Blasio. I think de Blasio is a train wreck. And I knew of de Blasio years and years ago because his house is actually based in the neighborhood next to that touches my neighborhood, which is like a uh, well-to-do neighborhood called Park Slope in Brooklyn. And friends of mine knew of de Blasio before I, I knew who de Blasio was. And they only had bad things to say. They only said that uh, 
he had any semblance of a political career because he's a tall guy and a lot of people were drawn into him because of that and the fact that uh it, Park Slope is like the biggest yuppie neighborhood in um in probably all New York like I mean like um definitely in all of Brooklyn but a lot of people um since it's mostly yuppies with money they probably thought that um, you know this guy who happened whose wife happens to be African American is hip plus he's tall you know like they, they they just see it from they were like more like drawn to it drawn to him based on what they saw like on the outside and you know a lot of people like yuppies like that they want to be hip too you know they, they like to um, pay to be hip sometimes I'll get into that another time but the guy that I knew that knew of uh, Bill de Vladio who, got, who has since passed I mean um, R.I.P. to Mr. Farioli who's also a political um, um, who was politically involved in that neighborhood like the Carroll Gardens Park Slope Red Hook section of uh, Brooklyn um, he just always said de Blasio was an idiot and this was before, like, I think de Blasio was even a mayor. I think this might have been when de Blasio was uh, running to, the, to become mayor. He said that everybody that knows de Blasio for more than a year, like, can't stand him. And de Blasio kind of, like, won the uh, mayorship of New York because the candidates that were uh, put against him were all crappy. Like, they were all no good. He had a guy that was, like, the the top CEO of New York City at a time of like post stop and frisk so everybody was like butthurt about that so the Blasio was kind of like a shoe in both times that he uh, ran and then he subsequently ran for presidency as many of you may know and he didn't make it that far then but now that the fanfare of uh, his failed presidential campaign has died down I mean like uh, seemingly he's trying to stick his beak in to this story regarding the New York Mets um, the source actually said too that he's just trying to um, do what he always does and make it seem like he's against uh, billionaires um, when he's really not but um, yeah it sucks I mean like I don't think that ultimately this is going to stop the sale of the Mets but this is 2020 and you never know man like you know it seems like we're right there, like, as far as uh, getting this uh, sale done and uh, consummated. So we could have the reign of Steve Cohen, uh, somebody who, as you know, is going to be the richest baseball team owner from day one, but it's also a lifelong uh, New York Mets fan. So um, we'll see. I mean, uh, I'm seeing a lot of signs behind the scenes that... Um, it looks like Steve Cohen is already sort of uh, putting his input. Like the Mets were scouting a Dominican uh, pitching prospect who I can't find any video of online. I don't know his name, but he's 16 years old. And um, they said that the only teams that were scouting him were the Dodgers and the Mets. So um, ho hopefully the Mets, one, end up signing that kid. And two... This is a sign of things to come that the Mets aren't going to shy away from um, dishing out money internationally like they have in the past and making uh, these cheap investments that uh, have huge dividends in the future. But let me know what you guys think. With, uh, do you think uh, de Blasio is a buffoon like I do? Um, are you uh, guys scared? As uh, typical Met fans usually are, like expecting the other shoe to drop or the doom and gloom that comes with cheering for this franchise, like I have. So let me know what you guys think. With that, I hope you have a wonderful uh, day. Peace. Thank you for stepping into the foul playland.